Joining me now is the author of Cooking for High Performers, Longevity Nutritionist, Ella DeVar. Ella, it's so great to see you. I'm so glad to be here, Gail. So Ella, clean eating trends are now focusing on more international ingredients. Yes, and I am myself an international. I come from a different state, but my thing, uh, what I love about the clean eating trend is that it focuses on the quality of the ingredients. And this is what I've actually tried to emphasize my entire career. So the environmental working group really makes it easier for the consumers to focus on the quality of the organic, whole ingredients. We've all heard about ultra processed foods mm -hmm. being uh, damaging to our health and what the clean eating trend does, it shows how minimally, minimally processed ingredients, the ones that come straight from the nature and organic quality are actually the best for us. And there's two lists that they come up with every year. Have you heard of Clean 15 and the Dota Dozen? I have, I have, which has totally changed the way I shop for uh, fruits and vegetables. Yes, because it makes our intake more flexible. It shows shows us that not everything has to be organic, but uh, uh, it has to be of the highest quality. And the Dodi Dozen tells us that those are the ingredients we need to be shopping organic, and the Clean 15, that we're safe buying conventional. And today, I'm going to introduce you to one of the gluten-free grains that's not very popular in the States, but it is very popular in those who are trying to eat cleaner. And this is in your cookbook, right? It is. There's a recipe on page 52. Okay, so how do we get started? So, for those who are looking to eat more plant-based protein naturally, mm -hmm. this grain is an absolute superfood. It's called buckwheat. It's naturally gluten-free, and I'm going to begin cooking. Okay. Could you please help me to turn this on? Sure, yeah, And I'm absolutely. going to begin with one cup of buckwheat with okay. two cups of water All right. as we go in. And for, the, for this recipe, I'm going to use a little bit of ghee, which makes it extra buttery, but you don't have to use it. You can also use coconut oil, but ghee helps us to introduce more um, fat soluble amino acids. And I want to, just for our, our viewers, ghee is G-H-E-E. -E. Thank you. And how, uh, what kind of butter is ghee again? It's a clarified butter, okay. which is doesn't have any uh, dairy proteins, but it does have a lot of beneficial, specifically butyric fatty acids, hugely beneficial for a gut health. Okay, good. good no, I just want to throw that out there for you guys. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. So what buckwheat really is, it's it's a great substitute to quinoa and rice. Okay. So many people these days are becoming gluten sensitive or intolerant, and that's how quinoa became really popular. But I'm here to introduce buckwheat because it's actually more nutrient dense than quinoa. Okay. It contains complete protein, which means it has all of the nine essential fatty acids and amino acids, and basically no other grain has this nutritional profile. It's also high in fiber, so for those who are on the plant-based uh, diet, this is hugely beneficial to introduce buckwheat into their diet. Okay, I've so never even cooked with buckwheat, so I'm excited about this. I'm so excited that you're about to try it. <laughs> so it requires a little bit of time for cooking, 10 okay. to 12 minutes, All right. but this is what it looks like okay. once it's finished. So it's nice and dry and fluffy just like that, okay. and it's actually a great alternative to oats because it's higher in protein and fats. It's great for cholesterol management. It also has some health benefits for heart health and blood pressure. So I actually love recommending it for breakfast. Oh. You can have it with milk or some dried fruits or fresh berries. Okay, and, you, and it's all cooked. You just keep it in your refrigerator and then take yes. it out for breakfast? Yes, it stores in the fridge for two to three days. Okay. But today, I'm gonna make a salad of it. So okay. you, it's a great way to have it for lunch as well, just how you make quinoa salad. So we'll begin in this bowl. We'll begin with arugula, one okay. of the bitter herbs that I love recommending for gut microbiome for okay. a healthy digestion because it helps to stimulate enzymes. And then we'll put two or three um, spoons of buckwheat. Okay. Then you could really play with this. Whatever you're using for salads, avocados, tomatoes. Here I have chopped cucumbers and bell peppers. Okay. Those happen to be my favorite and it's very low in calorie and high in nutrients. The next thing we're gonna create is a little bit of dressing over here. So my okay. favorite uh, combination which helps with digestion is using apple cider vinegar mixed with olive oil and mustard and honey. Mm. Do you ever use this combination? I have never used it before, not with the mustard especially. It's so simple and delicious. So I mix it all together and use that as a dressing. 
And that's another way to control your ingredients. Yes, the clean eating really emphasizes how we, we everything we eat should be as simple as possible. You know how you've heard probably like if you if there, if it contains an ingredient that you can't pronounce, you should not be eating right. it. That's the basis of clean eating that you have uh, control, as you said, of all of the ingredients that you consume. Yeah. Here's the dressing. That looks good. I also love to top it up with some walnuts and goat cheese, as you put in there. Okay. Okay, so we, I think you could put a little bit more buckwheat. Okay, sounds like a plan. I'm all about it. Yeah, yeah. thanks to you know our expert guests like yourself, my husband and I, we don't even buy um, salad dressing at the grocery store anymore. You don't have to. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, and apple cider vinegar is the cheapest and the easiest way to improve your digestion because it helps to stimulate the enzymes naturally as well as the bitter herbs, as I mentioned earlier. Right, I'm going to take a little so bit. So I actually had this salad earlier mm. today for breakfast. It's very savory but nutty earthy how do you like the flavor i love it it is so good welcome to the world of buckwheat deliciousness oh my gosh this is so good ella thank you so much so well, i'm gonna talk with my mouth full here we're gonna share ella's buckwheat and arugula salad recipe with citrus vinaigrette